Hello and welcome. I'm Sai Rodriguez and today I'm asking the question, should women be allowed to have abortions? That's the question and um, this video is a response to Durian Rider, um, but just also sharing my own opinion because I think this is something that's a very big issue and um, it's something that's not easy to talk about because you know you're going to be judged one way or another if you start to talk about this subject. Um, so, should women be allowed to have abortions? Short answer, no. Now, um, I know I'm probably not going to be popular with a lot of people for saying this, um, but I do have some good reasoning behind this. And first, let's just talk about choice for a minute, because everybody's talking about pro-life, pro-choice. Um, is abortion really a choice or are most people forced into abortion by their partner who basically didn't want to have a kid or by parents who are worried for their daughter that they're going to have a baby too soon? Um, whose choice was it, the abortion in the first place? Now, um, just making it clear here that I know people who have had abortions and I don't hate those people um, and I do understand why people make that choice especially in our world and the main reason I think people make that choice is because we are programmed on so many levels and um, I'm all about being free from programming of any kind but people are made to believe that there are no that you don't have to have consequences to your actions or that you basically can make irresponsible decisions and you can take care of it still. Um, but there still are consequences even if you decide to have an abortion. Um, it's not safe first of all. There's chances that you could become sterilized for the rest of your life or that you could even die in an abortion and on top of that it is killing. Um, if you don't believe me that it's killing, then go to some of your pro-life advocates and just watch a couple videos on, on abortion because you'll find out if you watch that aborted babies can be killed up to, I don't know, eight months or something like that. And there, if you see what it's like for a baby to be killed, in, even if it's inside the womb, you understand that you actually really are killing something, um, killing a baby. So if you can live with that, you know, then that's something that is up to you. But in addition to the fact that you're, you're killing if you make the choice to have an abortion, you also have to realize that whether it should be allowed or not isn't really the question for me. It's more about should the entire population be responsible for that and the answer is no and the reason why is for people who have religious beliefs that tell them that that is killing, should they be put in a situation where they have to pay with their taxes for that, to, for that murder? Um, should, their, should hospitals like for example Catholic hospitals be forced by government to provide abortion services because by law abortion is legal and um, it should be taken care of for people whoever um, needs it and and therefore tell religious institutions that they have to participate in something that is against their belief. Um, I absolutely think that should not be allowed or I mean, I, I absolutely, absolutely think that's a crime um, and it is a violation of a person's right to choose not to be a part of that killing. So if we are going to have abortions, um, people are saying that back alley abortions happen if it's not in the legal system, in the legal system. But my opinion is, is that that type of abortion isn't a back alley abortion isn't much different than a regular abortion in a hospital and if you ask the people who have worked in abortion clinics especially ones who have been working there and then quit it's just as dangerous 
not only is it just as dangerous, the other part of what I'm trying to say is that if you're going to have an abortion, it's your responsibility. It's not somebody else's responsibility. So if you and some other people that you find want to assist you in that act, um, you know what? That's on your conscience and the people around you that think that that's okay. Um, but to put other people in a position where they have to provide that service to you, that is a violation of other people's conscience. So Durian Ryder brought up that there are 153 million orphans in the world and that if God is real, then why is it allowed to be this way? Why, are, why is our world in the state that it's in? And my answer to that is that's free choice. That is everybody's personal choice to live a life that basically causes other people's other people and themselves harm. And I'm not here trying to be righteous, meaning saying that I'm more righteous than somebody else. Um, I'm here just sharing my opinion because I think this is a very big deal. And I think a lot of people aren't thinking for themselves on their, this issue. They're just saying, Oh, I'm, I'm pro choice. A woman should have the right to choose what happens to her body. And you know, when it comes to health, I, I think that a person should have the right to choose what happens with their body. Um, but we're now talking about another life that's inside of you, but not even a life, not even a choice that's about health. And if my question to you, if you think that abortion is completely okay and should be allowed and it's normal, then would you go, if there was no modern clinics, if you were just living in some time when we didn't have all the modern conveniences that we have, would you put something inside you and forcefully try to destroy the inside of you or what was inside of you? Um, or would you like beat yourself, like punch yourself in your belly? Would you take some poison to try and kill something inside of you to get rid of what was inside of you, that, that life? And my answer to, to you, or my thought is, is that if you would do that to yourself, then probably you have no problem with abortion and it's okay for you. But if you would have a problem with that, and you really have to look deeper about what you think into what you think about abortion because it's a lot bigger than just you're taking life. You're actually hurting yourself and you could potentially kill yourself or cause damage to yourself. But the bottom line and the most big issue around this all is about um, sex in general. In our population or in our society, we're told that sex is not only something that everybody should engage in, but you should engage in it on a regular basis and that it's completely normal. And if you don't, then you're not healthy and all these other things. Well, I know for a fact that people are not more healthy for involving, indulging in sexual activity. And um, have did I indulge in sexual activity before I was married? Um, yes. So am I here to say that somebody is a bad person or that um, they're that I'm, or I'm better than them? Of course not. Um, what I'm saying is, is that you have to rethink your whole stance on sex and you have to teach this to your kids if you have kids and you have to re know this for yourself if you're a young person especially and you've been sold on the idea that sex is just normal. First of all, um, condoms break and people get pregnant. Second of all, birth control causes problems with your hormones and it creates other kinds of health problems and issues. Um, if you want to use birth control, then I'm with Durian Ryder on the male side. Go get yourself snipped. Um, get a vasectomy if you're going to indulge in sex and you feel like you're not going to control yourself. That's better than killing babies. Um, not only that for women, if you are going to make the decision that you're going to actually be having sex with somebody, don't believe that a condom or birth control is the way to do it. Make sure that the man that you're with does have a vasectomy and 
don't indulge in, in sex with somebody who doesn't unless you want to have a baby. And the reason I say that is because that is what having sex is about. And I know that in the world that we live in, there's sexual stimulation all, all around us. And it's perfectly natural and normal that you're going to be stimulated. You're going to think about sex. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And um, that's normal to, ha to be aroused. But you don't have to go and indulge in sex. In fact, why do you think so many people rely on drugs or alcohol to have sex with each other? It's because they feel inside themselves that this is a very serious thing that they're doing. And it is a very serious thing. The result of sex is kids. And you can go and look in nature and see it all around you that this is what it's about. Um, yeah, it feels good, but it's definitely overrated how it feels. And you can be aroused and turned on and um, not indulge in sex and be okay and actually be healthy for it. So don't let people tell you that you have to actually indulge in the sexual act for you to be healthy. It's not true. Um, and I know from my own experience, and I also know that there are a number of of things that you can do to be satisfied without actually even having an orgasm if that's what you're into. But that being said, if you have the choice of having an orgasm with yourself or creating a baby and then killing it, then I say have the orgasm yourself. That's just my opinion. Um, and I would love to hear what you have to say about it. This has been a response to Durian Writer's video, which I'm going to put a link to. Um, and I'm just sharing my opinion, honestly. This is how I feel. I feel like it's important for people to really face this head on and know how they feel about it. So that's why I'm sharing with you. So thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.